today we are going to be creating a flickering light inside of Maya and this was actually a request by Vishwadas who commented how we can animate a blinking light in Maya so let's see how we can do this now there are a couple of ways that we can do this um, but I've some found some unique ways that you can do this pretty quickly and pretty interestingly so we'll see how we can do that so I'm gonna go to Unreal and quickly take a simple area light and let's rotate this so it faces towards us and I'm gonna scale this up and scale the height down all right so we have something like this now the problem with the light is that we cannot visualize this inside of viewport and if we visualize this inside of IPR uh, we don't get the proper idea because we cannot play the whole animation seamlessly if I go to my IPR and let's say I make the whole exposure to something like maybe a 10 we won't see anything for the visualization purpose we'll take a simple spheres just so we can see how the exposure is kind of turning down and so on but still it's not fast enough for us to kind of realize how fast it's moving in real time so the way we are going to do this is I'm gonna get back uh, turn down the exposure back to zero and delete the whole sphere the first thing I'm gonna do is take a simple plane here and I'm gonna turn off the grid and also reduce the division to one all right so we have something like this now obviously we can see something in the IPR and uh, IPR is a bit fast enough but not fast enough to show us in real time so what we are going to do if you go to the overall panels here you can turn on the light here all right so now you can see a little bit tiny bit of exposure coming down here so I can bring my light down and from here I can see how my light is overall interacting here so if I go back to my attribute and change the overall exposure I can see how this is overall animating now back to the animation how we can animate a blinking light or a flickering light so the first thing that you can do is obviously you can add a manual keyframe by doing a set key which I'll get back to after the main technique so the fastest technique that I've come up with is creating an expression so I'm going to right click on this and in the earlier video we have already seen how you can use expression to create a pretty fast and seamless animation so I'm going to create a new expression and this is not going to be a pretty complex uh, expression this is going to be a pretty simple one so the first thing that we are going to do is obviously copy the attribute of the selected object which is our light here and I'm going to select this copy this paste in our expression here and if you I hope you can see this I'm going to bring this up all right so for the function of this type of animation what we need is some randomness regarding the overall exposure so right now our exposure has been set to zero what we want is to light to be scattered around here with the intensity of value of one or maybe like something like two and then going back to zero so we have no light whatsoever just a small tiny bit and then going back to something like maybe a value of 1.3 and so on so let's see how we can do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my light here and uh, create an expression I'm gonna copy this paste this and scale this up all right so I'm gonna hit spacebar I'm gonna hit is equal to and spacebar again and I'm gonna use something called as rand which is basically stands for random and then spacebar open bracket close bracket and inside of the bracket we are going to put in the value that we want so in this case we want something value of that goes into a positive direction you can also use a value that goes into a negative uh, value as well for example you can use something like a minus one and then comma and then you can use something like a positive two and that's it so in this case I don't want the exposure to go back to the negative value so I'm going to keep the negative value to zero so it stays in the same place on the other hand I want the positive value to go up to somewhere around two or maybe like three and that's it and I'm gonna finish this code here and I'm gonna hit create all right so I'm gonna close this here I'm gonna go to my first frame and if I play this now you can see how our flickering light is animating so this is a pretty fast and seamless uh, way you can quickly animate your light to something like this so this is this can be a pretty dramatic or cinematic scene where you have a kind of a hallway and you have a flickering light going on so I'm gonna add a bit of exposure just so we can visualize this I'm gonna quickly go to my atmosphere atmosphere volume and let's add a density value of 0.100 so I can also change the viewport to Arnold viewport here to something like this and now we can see the overall light here I'm gonna quickly pause this and add a new material a bit of a reflective material just so we can see uh, our light better and I'm gonna make the metalness to something like 0.1 and I think the roughness is good enough 
let's change the color to something like maybe a mid gray all right let's turn this up and let's play this now all right so now you can see we have something like this pretty cool looking pretty interesting and a couple of other things that you can do is you can also animate the intensity if you want increase some exposure uh, resolution sorry and some samples make sure you add a good amount of samples in your diffuse and your specular as well and since we are using the volume we are going to increase some more volumes in our samples of volume 2 so now we have a pretty interesting light and if you want you can turn on for light for the camera that totally depends on you and now we have something like this horror looking scene all right so now the other way which is kind of a long or you can say pretty bad way not bad but yeah it's pretty time consuming and this way is for those who are not pretty good at expression or codes or what whatever but i think for the majority of people are pretty good with the overall coding here and since the expression is pretty small and uh pretty easy to do i don't think it will be any problem for anyone to play around with anyways uh apart from this the other method is obviously the manual key framing so what you can do is you can go to your first frame you can right click on your exposure you can set a key you can go in forward in time make the exposure to maybe like 1.5 set key go back forward change the value set key and come back again set key go again and forward or you can also do is if you want to just speed up the whole process you can turn on the overall auto key and uh, yeah this is the overall auto key here so if i move my um, time indicator here and if i change the value it will automatically key the whole thing so now from here i can go back and play this and now you can see the overall animation now it is pretty slow obviously because we are doing a manual key framing so i highly suggest not doing this stick to the expression it's pretty simple and small to do anyways if you want to animate a bunch of things with the overall uh, light here with the overall flickering here what you can do is let me just show you how you can do that it's just same expression using multiple times so we can use this copy paste this and i'm going to increase this and let's take a random now remember expressions are really case sensitive so be careful what values or what letter you are using if you are using capital letters or small letters and so on so i'm gonna make this something like two and i'm gonna hit create and i'm gonna go to my intensity and i'm gonna create a new expression i'm gonna copy this again paste here and again do the same thing so i'm gonna put a value of maybe like minus one here and maybe like 1.2 and i'm gonna end this i'm pretty sure i forgot to end the other expression as well yeah and hit edit and close all right so we have something like this now apart from that if you want you can also uh, put an expression on the spread now spread is a pretty interesting thing so you can animate that as well i've already covered what spread does in multiple videos so i'm gonna put a new value here i'm gonna use a value of maybe like something like let's use minus 0.5 and a value of maybe like one and i'm gonna end this as well and hit read all right so i'm gonna bring this down here and go to the first frame all right now pretty interesting i'm gonna go to my arnold here and let's start this up all right so i don't think uh, we have enough exposure that's why we are not seeing anything let's hit play on our keyboard yeah there you go so now as you can see we have multiple things animating that's why it's so fast i'm gonna stop my ipr here i think visualizing on the viewport is the fastest method of seeing this in real time so yeah uh apart from that uh, the overall expression is pretty good you have you can create this pretty fast and you can create pretty amazing stuff with this so have fun with this if you have any request or any question or doubt feel free to ask me i hope you had fun with this technique and i'll see you in the next video